and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today I'm doing a walk around video presentation for you of a very tall 2012 Toyota Hi Ace van. As you can see from the front of the car, it's got the, uh, the standard Toyota shape about them that they've always had, very sort of box shape. Got our nice big headlights there, our black bumper bar with our white uh, number plates down below. And as you can see, we've got a nice big windscreen in the front and you can see a fantastic um, trade style, tradesman style roof rack on the vehicle there. So as we have a look at the paint condition here, you can see there's been some minor stone chips on the front that have all been touched up. Nothing substantial, but they are, have been there. Uh, as we come around to the driver's side, looking at the front bar, a couple of minor little marks on the, the bar, but nothing substantial that's there. As we come further through, Having a look at the windows, you can see we've got some window tint there. Looking at the paintwork on the front door, really good. Looking at our front tyre, fantastic condition tyre on the front there. Having a look at the, the hubcap there, it does have some scraping on it. As we come along, looking at the, the van, these are one of the most renowned workhorses you can buy um, around. Having a look, we do have a few minor ripples in the uh, side here and sort of from where stuff's bumped against it from the inside. Hasn't broken the paint uh, but you can see those ripples there. As we look at the rear tyre, really good condition on the rear tyre and the hubcap's been well looked after too on this one. As we come around to the back, have a look at this. We've got our tow bar there which is really good underneath giving us a towing capacity of 1.4 tonne braked really good there and we have a nice big solid rear step on here now the good thing with the solid rear step is for short people like myself we can actually get up and see what's on the roof so as i said we've got a fantastic trade style roof rack up here looking at the roof as too from what i can see really good condition underneath the uh roof rack hasn't been hit or anything that i can see there as i come down we've got our high mount stop lamp with our uh, rear window wiper and we also have the extra mirror to see straight down uh, for the driver as they reverse up. So opening up the back, looks like someone wanted to go for a sleep in there. Forgot the mattress. Not exactly sure what happened there. So as we pull this out, you'll see, looking in the back, very nice, long, open space. We've got a rubber mat down on the floor. We've got tie down points there too. And having a look, they've lined the inside with a bit of ply too. So to try and uh, deaden the sound a little bit, I believe. Looking at wheel arches, a few scratches and things on there, a couple of dents in the wheel arches. So you can tell it's a good, good workhorse. Having a look, you can see we've got the cargo cage in the front there, which is really good to protect yourself as the driver. Um, we've got the other good thing here, we've got the handle here, because if we didn't have this, short blokes like myself would be no good at looking at these cars we wouldn't be able to close the back door. So as I come around, now having a look at the condition of the tailgate too, sorry, as I've walked past it, a couple of little pimple dents there. Coming into the left-hand side here, looking much better on this side. The paint condition's really good. A couple of minor dents around, as I said earlier, the same thing from the other side. Uh, looking at the rear tire, really good tread tire there. And looking at the condition of the hubcap, couple of minor little marks on that one. Looking at the door, we've got a couple of minor little marks just down on the edge of the door here. Uh, and a little, a small pimple dent at the bottom. And then opening up, as a, once again, a very nice big opening with the side sliding door there too. And now you can see the cargo cage much easier. We've got the tow bar in behind the cargo cage, behind the seats there. So we'll close that up. Got our fuel filler on the left hand side here and our passenger door. Having a look, we've got our front tire which is really good condition tread and our left hand uh, hubcap's fantastic. Uh, looking at the mirror, slight mark on the mirror on the left hand side there. So overall, really good condition for a solid workhorse. Now as we get the cameraman, normally we'd uh, pop the bonnet at this point and show you through the uh, engine and so you can see. Now being a high ace fan, the engine is underneath the seat here. We do have it running with the aircon running at the moment. 
but you will have a three litre turbo diesel engine under there giving you 100 kilowatts of power, 300 newton metres of torque, and all this is coupled with the five speed manual transmission. So really good there for um, value, giving you eight litres per 100 kilometres on average. So out of our 70 litre tank, we're gonna get 875 kilometres of driving. Now I've popped around to the driver's side and, and I'll just hop in, just go through some of the features for you. As you can see, we've got electric windows on the driver's door. We also have the window lock button and the door lock button there. Now they are quite a, a um, compact unit in here. So down, down on this side, I don't know whether our cameraman can get around. We've got our mirror controls there. Now we do only have one key for this vehicle. Up here we've got our indicators and our headlights on the right hand stalk. And on the left hand stalk we've got our front wipers and the rear wiper there too. So having a look at the steering wheel, really good condition. Nice and easy, it is adjustable so we can height adjust it there to suit the person driving. Coming down below our manual transmission, so we've got the five speed manual shifter right here. So nice, easy, short shifts. And looking down below, we've got our handbrake release there too. Now, as I come across to the very middle of the vehicle, uh, we've got our stereo system here, which is really good. We've got our CD player. We can push our source button, go through the menu, uh, disc. We've got the USB, and we've also got Bluetooth audio, which is really good, so, and AM, there too so as you can see you've got your usb port you've got your your auxiliary port there too little speaker i believe or a key hole there uh, but you do have your phone answer and hang up button too so really good there got our hazard light button down below there we've got our air conditioning control so we've got our vent controls on this side with the ac control our heating controls on this side and our fan and recirc switches are here so we've got our fan speed here, our recirc air switch there. Down below that further, we've got our 12 volt uh, lighter there. So it is a lighter with a charge point. And we've got an ashtray there too. Looks like there's a, a cup holder that pulls out there, which is fantastic. It's what you need in these sorts of vans. Now, the other thing too that I need to look at is we've got our trip meter, uh, is the service books. And let's see if we can uh, grab those out and have a quick look at the service history on this vehicle. Uh, having a look at the car, I mean, it's a good old Toyota book. So we've got the nice little tabs here. You can see lots of servicing, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. This is why they give me the irrits. We've got the 40,000 service there got the 50,000 the 60,000 70 80 the 90 service so the last one there the service see if that one's been missed so really good books up up to the 90 service um, then nothing stamped after that. We have done, sorry, what did I say? Really good service up to the 100. So we've done an intermediate service when we got this vehicle uh, at, at 113,000. So missing one stamp overall. But other than that, really good history on the vehicle and very good condition overall. Okay, so that's our walk around video today presentation for the Toyota Hi Ace van. Now, as my cameraman so pointed out as after the uh, service books that I don't know Toyota servicing very well, coming from him who drives a Toyota Prado, he did point out that there are two additional service stamps in the, for the additional record, which has the 112K service done, and then we've done a service there. So really good history on this vehicle. Uh, so uh, if you have... Any more questions on this car, please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 and thanks for watching.